welcome back to a new video. If you don't know me, my name is Dazlin, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a full review of the Maya Monkey Hotel Hostel here in Tulum. I am staying for two more days after an extended trip. I was in Tulum with a few people, and now I'm going to be staying at this hostel by myself, so I'm gonna let you guys know how it is, what they include, all of that stuff. So stay tuned. If you guys are interested in seeing my Tulum vlog, definitely go check that out. I'll link it right here and post it in the description box below. But if you're interested, keep on watching. If you haven't, make sure to go hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. Okay guys, so if you like working out like me and you need a gym, I am staying at the Mind Monkey, which is actually right over there. And then right across the street is a loft. Actually researched in advance to make sure that they have a gym, which is so convenient because it's actually right across the street from where I'm staying. One thing I do want to mention about the My Monkey Hotel or hostel, the only way, honestly, like my family was gonna let me stay at a hostel was if I got the private room. But this one only also has dorms. Like as a safety precaution, this is my first hostel experience. I didn't know what to expect. I'm very used to hotels and like my own privacy, my own safety and security and like having my own bathroom and all of that. But within the first 20 minutes, I met somebody at the hostel and they were like, come check out our dorm. It was relatively clean. It looked like you had your own privacy. It was a mixed dorm. She was staying in with girls and guys. Like the beds look clean. She said they change your sheets like on the daily if you ask them. It was like a room with like 12 beds on each wall, like six and six and then six and six and there's one above and one under and then each room has a bathroom and a toilet so it's not like you're sharing one bathroom and toilet with the entire hostel a room of six people or a room of 12 people share a bathroom and a toilet and then they also clean those daily so now checking it out and now going into one of them and seeing what it looks like i would i felt a little bit more comfortable and as intimidated i was like okay maybe i can do this but still i'm staying in a private room i'm gonna see how that experience works out for me but from what i saw within the first hour of being there i was like okay like this this can work and i think it's just an american thing where people have misconceptions about hostels that they're dangerous or that they're gross or whatever but honestly everybody outside of america or the u.s that i've talked to from the states like Europe, Spain, like all these other countries, hostels are very normalized and it's actually a really convenient way to meet other solo travelers, other young people, affordable way of traveling. To give you guys some perspective, one bed at this hostel is actually like $10 a night. And it's free breakfast, free yoga, free activities, and it was relatively clean. So like for a week, you could spend like $50 and stay here um but the private room was a little bit more expensive the private room came out to like 50 dollars a night um, but that's for me having my own privacy still 50 dollars a night is relatively cheap compared to other hotels so like right now i'm across the street at a loft and this one was like almost 200 dollars a night and this is an actual hotel obviously with a gym and like other amenities, a pool, but it's just like convenience, budget, what you're really looking for. I feel like automatically at the hostel, it's a more open vibe too. The energy is different. It's a party, people are going to meet and talk. So it really just depends on what you're looking for and what your goals are for your trip. I'll fill you guys in more on the hostel experience and just everything that's going on once I actually check in to my room. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I finally checked in to my room at the hostel. Don't mind me, I look a little crazy. Literally today has been such a day. So I finally checked in and I just thought I'd show you guys the room a bit and sit down and chat with you about just like the first couple hours of my day at my monkey and just this hostel experience because it has been in unbelievable. Like I'm already so, I wanna stay more time by myself because I've just already been on such an adventure. Like it's boosted my mood and just everything about Tulum like is unbelievable right now. So let me just go ahead and show you guys this room. So this is my private room at the hostel. I just walked in, I have my own bed. These curtains raise, I'll raise them, but basically I'm gonna keep them down because everybody will be able to look into my room. But this is the view, guys. I have to say for a hostel, like this place is so dope. I'm gonna give you a little tour after, but let me close this. Okay, not make it already. So here's my bed. I have towels. I have a safe with a whole rack, a nice TV. And then we have our own little bathroom area over here. 
shower and toilet. And that's the room. Okay guys, so as you can see, I literally just got into my room. Like I just needed to sit down, set up my camera situation and just really talk to you guys for a second before I forget everything that just happened because I think it's just like really important to give raw, like authentic information. And I know if I keep going on with my day, I'm not gonna be able to fully grasp what I wanna communicate with you guys about my hostel experience and what I've literally just experienced within not even checking in, okay? And I don't know if it's just this place, but the vibes and the energy have been immaculate. Like when I say I was a little nervous and hesitant to come to this hostel just because I'm very used to hotels and Airbnbs and also being by myself. Just the amount of people I've already met this morning, the memories that I'm already making, the vibes that I'm getting are unreal. Just the workers, the people, the welcoming, the welcoming vibe, the energy. And I know I keep saying that, but like I wish there were other words to describe how I feel about coming into a space and already being hesitant and a little bit nervous wanting to go back outside because like of all the people that I'm ready to meet and just feeling so comfortable and safe now. I'm like, I don't even want to shower. Like I'm just like, want to go, go, go. And like, everybody's like, okay, where are we eating? What are we doing? Like everybody's just, so, it's a community. Like it's unbelievable. But so far, so good, okay? So far, so good. I've been here by myself. I feel safe. The staff is great. Everybody is very attentive. You're gonna meet so many people, like literally every five seconds, but you have to be open to the experience of wanting to socialize and get out of your comfort zone and meet people from all around the world. Being from America, this is my first hostel experience. I ask everybody, everybody here is backpacking. Like everybody here is on a four month backpacking trip through Europe, Asia, Bali, Mexico. Like, oh yeah, this is my seventh stop on my back. And I'm like, okay, so this is the life. Like, this is what people do. We just have this perception that like these places are unsafe and you know, like they're dangerous or they're gross or whatever, but this is like, this is the shit. This is where people go to meet other young people and have adventures. And you know, if you're with a group and they're not with the vibes and you just wanna go out and be productive and have a fun day, you can meet somebody else that's on your type of time and wants to go and explore, you know what I mean? And it's crazy because it seems like I am a, like, this is my first one. There are some other people where they're like, okay, this is my first hostel experience, but most of these people have done this before and they're just like, it's amazing. Cause you make friends, you make acquaintances and it's just like, you're creating all these memories with each other and you just met each other. Like it truly feels like a moment in time. And I literally just had to sit down like just came out a whole a, a whole cenote looking like whatever but i was just like i really want to i know and this is why i make these videos and do this is because traveling is my peace and traveling is where i feel most alive and the community that i have and the people that watch this i watch reviews and i watch videos and i i watch these YouTube, these videos and this content to get information and to feel comfortable and to know that I can do it, especially as a woman wanting to solo travel, like this is my toe in the water. Like this is my first step, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay at a hostel. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be by myself for two days, but I'm gonna get a private room. Slowly but surely, eventually like now seeing dorms where six, 12 girls and guys sleep together or just girls sleep together. It's just like, okay, like I'm getting my feet wet. Like I'm getting comfortable. Comfortable. So this is something that is doable, that seems safe. Like I have my own space here. I feel comfortable and I'm still in the environment. I'm already so happy that I came here. If you guys haven't seen my travel vlog yet, definitely go check that out in the link below. If you guys are liking this video at all, go ahead and smash that like button. And it helps me keep on making these videos for you guys. If you haven't turned on your post notifications, but yeah, unbelievable. My mind is blown. The reviews for this place were 50-50. Everybody was like, this is the amazing place. It's awesome, it's party, you meet people, you socialize. And then other people were like, dangerous, bed bugs, you got your shit stolen, or, you know, like the guys are annoying. You know, as a woman, like you gotta deal with drunk people, drunk guys or whatever. So that's why I was like, I want my own room so I feel safe, but Again, like everybody's experience is going to be different because of the people that you associate yourself with. So I'm just, I'm being cautious, I'm being alert, I'm being aware. But I, I would have to say the major key 
and what I'm doing to make sure that I have a good time is my perspective. Like I'm telling myself I'm going to have a freaking amazing time here and I'm pushing myself up. I'm already a person who likes to speak to other people and meet people and just put myself out there, like get into your extrovert like skin if you're not an extrovert you have to put yourself out there and like be open and receptive to wanting to make new connections but so far 10 out of 10. So I am back. First day, hands down, 10 out of 10. I am officially obsessed and in love with hostels. I think they are the way to go. I think they are the way to meet people and socialize. And just, I want to extend my trip. Like, I literally don't even want to leave. I literally don't even want to go home. And I just wish I was staying here for like another couple of days because this is the experience that I needed. Like, these are the vibes that I've been waiting for. They had a DJ, we were playing Jenga, they had beer pong. Like, this hostel is super party, but like, not, it's just the vibes are there. Like, the social vibes are there. Like, people are open to making connections, people are dancing. Like, it was amazing. The music finishes at one. So then we went to Straw Hat, which is another hostel slash like party place on the Strip. That was also really fun. It's about like 1.40 right now and everything's like quieting down, but we were just hanging out in like the common space and talking and hanging out. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. guys i just wanted to give you a quick like review of the maya monkey overall highly recommend 10 out of 10 the vibe is amazing the energy is amazing definitely a party hostel everybody's open to meeting new people very clean more than what i expected it would be a lot of activities um everybody's very open and receptive to making friends and making new connections i only had one issue at this hotel and i would say the workers are very nice, very attentive. They're kindly, it's very much friendly vibes. I had an issue with a bicycle renting situation. The hotel recommends bicycles, doggy bikes outside in front of the hotel. They use an ID or a passport as a deposit. When I came to return my bicycle, they had already left for the day and taken my ID to another town or city, Playa de Carmen, which is an hour away. And at the time, my flight was very early in the morning, so I wouldn't have been able to get my ID. So I was struggling a lot, actually. The bike people didn't want to help me. They gave me the number, but they were like, oh, he's too far away. He's just going to come in the morning whenever he wants. And then the My Monkey, like, reception and, like, employees weren't really, like, literally one guy was like, I don't know how to help you. Like, that's not our business. And I'm like, well, it's a business that you recommend that's literally right outside of the hostel. And I'm a guest. And you're going to tell me that, oh, well, like, I don't know what to do. It was very much, like, nonchalant that's not my problem, like I don't know how to help you type vibes. And I told him like, that is completely unacceptable. I told him, I was like, I understand that it's not your business and essentially it's not your problem, but to tell one of your guests at a hotel who's looking for help and assistance, I don't know, is like ridiculous and unacceptable. 
So that was the only issue that I had. Aside from that, I had a good experience, but it was just sad to get that kind of customer service when it was just like a blatant, like, figure it out. Like, that's not our problem. Um, but that was really only one person. I kind of got the vibe from like two other people, but it was just like that. And then the bike person wants me to pay him 300 pesos for his gas to come back to the hotel and bring me back my ID when he left in the first place. Like you shouldn't be taking people's IDs and passports to other cities and towns, but I am like, no, it's unacceptable, unacceptable. But other than that, the Mind Monkey overall was a great experience. I would definitely come back I don't know if I would do a dorm just because I like my comfortability in my space. So the private room was perfect. And I feel like I got the same experience because it's just like, I don't need to be sleeping in a room with strangers to be able to meet people when I could just leave my private room and meet people. So I'm on the property. I have the same access to everything. I just have the comfortability of my own space. But other than that, I felt safe. Everything was clean, no bed bugs. It was a great hotel vibe. And I definitely would have stayed longer if the trip was meant to happen that way. But I feel like coming to Maya Monkey as my first hostel has hooked me onto hostels and now that's all I wanna go to. So if you're thinking about trying a hostel, you're from America or you're nervous or you have no idea what to expect or you have questions, let me know in the comments below, but let this video be your sign to just try it out because I feel like it's a whole new world that I didn't even know about but it's amazing. So if you guys are interested in more travel content like this, definitely make sure to go check out my travel playlist where I have more reviews, excursions, activities, things like that. If you haven't, make sure to hit those post notifications so you don't miss another video. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.